How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another tips and tricks tutorial video for Yokai Watch 4 on Nintendo Switch. Today's video I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to get Gargaros, Ogreless, and Snartle, three of the very, very strong Yokai in the game. And it's going to be relatively easy, so join us as we are playing through this game. If you guys not have not done so already, enter our awesome Yokai Watch 4 giveaway by hitting that like button, subscribing, turning on notifications, and of course leaving a comment on the video. More details on my Twitter. So, we're going to do this without any cuts because I want to show you guys exactly how it's done. So, if you guys are in post-game right now, I would recommend doing it there because Snartle, Gargaros, Ogreless are very strong. And unless you've got Yokai in like the level 40s, you're going to have a very hard time beating them. So, I would say hold off until post-game, of course, chapter 10 uh, onward in order to go. But hey, you know, if you're like me, I started farming these guys in chapter 9, so... Anyway, so you'll notice that there are street lights all throughout Springdale. You guys can see right over here, this little symbol of the green, yellow, and red represents an intersection where you can farm these three yokai. So for demonstration purposes, we're over here in Springdale present time, but of course you can go over to future time and do the exact same thing. So, what we want to do for Snartle is we want to activate these switches and cross the street 10 times correctly. Now that's a little bit backwards, right? There's our number one. That's a little bit backwards from what we're used to on Snartle, because usually when we cross the street incorrectly, he's the one that corrects us and calls us naughty brats. But in this game, it's going to be a little bit different. So, the reason why I like this area over here is because you can just simply run over one, two, and then here comes number three, and then we're just gonna do this 10 times. We're just gonna take a couple laps around here. Okay, there's number three. Now you can stand there and wait and use the same signal if you wanted to, go for it, but yeah, for this demonstration, this is what I've done, and I think that it's a little bit faster than just waiting on the same one. So anyway, here's number four. All right, moving on, and number five. We are just about halfway there. Going pretty quick on this. Okay. Alright, there's Domona, of course, the digital exclusive, which a lot of you guys already have. Okay, here's six. Okay, and here we go with number seven. I like looking at the traffic too. Like sometimes the people blow right through these signals. Here's seven. Okay, here's number eight. And once we get 10, I'll show you guys what we have to do after that. Okay, number eight, here we go. Last one, second to last one. see the street lights actually change too. It's pretty cool. I, I like the level of detail that level 5 put into this game. It's not as polished as I wanted it to be, but hey, you know what? I'll take what I can get at this point. So anyway, here comes number 10. We've done it 10 times exactly. Now you can go through and do it 11 times and let me know in the comments if anything less than 10 works, but I found that 10 was the easiest way. So now once we have that, all we have to do is warp over to another area. Uh, what I like to do is I like to go to the uh, North Kawabata pretty easy it's right next to the school and then across the street from where the warp spot is you're gonna be able to instantly trigger it so we did the green light ten times now we're gonna go fight Snartle let's take a look here yeah here we go all right so now as soon as we do that it's gonna fade over and now you're gonna have access to this now once you do this you can do a couple things really quick you can save your game because I know Snartle is going to be super strong for you, right? Snartle is going to be very, very strong. So you can save your game and you can absolutely soft reset this. So in case you go through and you battle Snartle right now, for example, I'll show you this right now. So we're going to press the A button and then out of nowhere, Snartle is going to come over here for us and he's going to do his whole any naughty brats here kind of a deal. And then we're going to attempt to beat him up. Now, you can get the Snartle con as early as like the first couple hits. Or you can battle the entire thing and he won't even drop it for you. So there's also that. Now I'm raising this light side Blazari over here, so she's gonna get annihilated really quick. So. 
Uh, so thanks for the healing there a little bit. But anyway, so what we're going to be trying to do right now is we're going to be trying to get a critical hit. And a critical hit is where one of your teammates chimes in and gives you a little bit of a boost, uh, like a combo attack. And then that typically allows the cone drop. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this for the tutorial, but I'm just going to show you guys the, uh, the way that we battle him so quickly in order to win. And like I said earlier, he deals a lot of damage. So watch out. If you're not strong enough, just keep on playing the game until you get strong enough. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Boom. So we got the combo. We got that crit. Now he's going to come up. We're going to con get. And then we get a snarl con. That's awesome. Not a gold, but it's a regular one. And we got three regular ones. So we're fine. If you really wanted the one gold one, you need 15. You need 15 of the regular ones. So, there we go. I showed you guys exactly how to get the cone for Snartle. Now, in case you did this battle, and you didn't get the Snartle cone, what you can do is you can go to the start menu, right over here, click him on, uh, press plus, and then press the down option, then you can go back to the title screen. That's a lot faster than pressing the home menu, exiting out, loading it back up. So if you didn't do that, then you could load your save file. And then when you're at that title screen, use the, the auto-saved one because the auto-save happens as soon as you're out of a Mirapo. So as soon as you're out of a Mirapo, the game will actually auto-save for you. So load up that save file and then try, try again until you get a cone. And then once you get one of the cone drops, then it's easy to save the game. Save the game and then go from there. Whew, boy, it's, uh, I mean, if you guys want Snartle, you're gonna be wanting to do this. Trust me. It's a little bit long of a process of opening up, or maybe like a three minute process of, uh, you know, going across the street multiple times for sure. But at the end of the day, if you guys want a good yokai that's similar to Shogunyan, that you don't have to worry about cranking and you can farm them infinitely, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Okay. So that is exactly how you get Snartle. Now, you guys may be wondering, hey Abdallah, how do you get Gargaros? Now Gargaros and Ogreless are going to be the exact same thing. They are, Gargaros is a little bit more common, but Ogreless is, uh, is a little bit more rare. So now what you wanna do is the exact opposite. You wanna run across the street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, super easy, right? So as long as you run across the street ten times, and then what I like to do is I like to warp back to where we were talking about. Way faster, by the way. <laughs> so um, I like warping out of the area because I feel it triggers the little junction box a lot easier than if I went all the way over to like the other light um, on, on the side there. So anyway, so now that we got ten, Let's take a look over here. We're gonna warp, and then right now we should be able to press it. If this doesn't work right here, then you're gonna go to the next one. You're gonna go to the next one, you're gonna click it. There we go. So you're all set. So sometimes it happens, it works on the first one that you get, but if not, cross the street, and then this one's going to work for you. So like I said earlier, whenever you have this actual box come up, you're gonna be able to press the save button, okay? Because this is what you want to do because if you already have a Gargaros cone, you're gonna be trying to get an Ogreless cone or vice versa. So uh, as soon as you press one of these buttons, it's going to be random of which one of the Oni are gonna come at and attack you. Right now, we've got a Gargaros that, come, that comes on board. I'm gonna battle Gargaros to show you guys how strong he is, but like I said earlier, you need to be leveled up in order to take this guy on. He's very strong, but look, luckily for us, we saved beforehand. If we don't get the con, we're going to... Oh, dang, we got a gold one. <gasps> okay, so whenever you got... Whenever you got a yokai with a gold name, that's actually like a custom name, like Aka Oni, that's going to be very good for you if you get the con drop, because uh, they can already come with at least like 50 IVs or EVs added to their stats. So it's, it's a stronger variant. This is crazy. I don't know how we got this on the tutorial. But uh, here's here's hoping that we can, we can figure it out. Okay, so Blazaria went down really quick. Figured it out. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on shelling out this damage, and we want to keep on knocking him down. The more you knock him down, the more chances of critical hits. I don't think we're gonna get it. It would be it would be amazing. If we did. Because this is a gold variant, man, and you never see that. 
Okay, no one's refilling me here. Come on, Kate. Or Nady. What am I? Nady. <laughs> Keita? Oh my god. Keita and then the name Katie. Well, I would get those both. So here we go. Wow, invincibility frame dodged it, and I invincibility frame dodged it. Oh, I got owned. Wow, I don't know if we're gonna do this. Who else is here? Who else do I have that's good? Uh, Demona, Komasan, Komashura. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Shin. Shin's got the all revive, so let's uh, let's see what we do here. Now you can always use Shin in order to like revive everyone, which is super good. And this guy's strong. You guys can see this right here. And how much health do I need? Oh my gosh, I need a little bit of health. I have never beaten this guy. I've never beaten like a golden variant. Drop, dude. I like that in spirit. I don't know if he's doing that. Oh, man. Are right, we gonna do some work here or what, guys? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to use an item here. Like, I'm gonna use a, a medicine because this is insane. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these for. You and then the owl. I should be able to swap them really quick. Dude, this is like a gold one, man. That's so intense. Alright, Komasan is doing a little bit of healing. Demona's doing some stuff. Here we go. Can we just knock him down, please? He's so strong with those things, man. I don't think we're gonna get this going. Can you heal me? Can you guys heal me? Oh, he's coming after me. Wow, dang, no way, man. He doesn't want to go down. He doesn't want to stay down. He just wants to do his thing. Are we doing this? Oh man, all that for nothing. All right, well, we got a lot of experience points, we got a lot of money for it, but we didn't get the drop. So, since we didn't get the drop, since we didn't get the drop, I'll show you guys what happens now, right? Remember we saved? That was cool though, we didn't even get a chance. Lame, super lame. Anyway, so we're gonna go back to title. Since we saved beforehand, I showed you that, uh, you can load up either your two saves. I like to load up the auto save which is like typically like a minute beforehand uh, whenever you actually make your save. So now that we've loaded up that, we don't have to cross the street 10 times anymore. 
It is more along the lines of just going straight and taking a look at this. So here we go, watch. All right, so remember, now if this doesn't go, then we're gonna click on this one really quick. And there we go. Okay, so now we're going to re-roll. See, we're gonna be able to re-roll and now we can get Ogreloss. So what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be uh, consistently soft resetting the game in order to re-roll either Ogreloss or Gargaros, battle them until you get a cone, and then save after you get a cone. If you don't get one of their cone, then you're going to soft reset the game and then try again. I'm gonna try my luck over here with uh, getting uh, Ogreloss, but like I don't think it's gonna happen. He's also very, very strong, and I just ate that entire attack. I mean, we're dropping him. Great. This is good. Well, he's already half health. Oh, man. He's so strong. Here. I didn't even knock him down with that. Ah, uh, here it comes. Knock him down. Stay down, dude. Alright, so there is a Wisp. We're gonna pop that. And, and I'm down. Okay, great. Thanks for the healing, team. Oof. Alright, I just wanna keep on knocking him down. That's the thing. Like, you gotta, you gotta keep trying. Knock him down! Give me your cone drop! Okay, not bad. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna- I don't know if he's gonna do it, but here we go. We're gonna throw up, uh, Komashura over here. Oh, we got him. Okay- Oh, yeah! Nice! Okay! Cool, cool, for the tutorial, man. And we got three. We got three Ogreless ones, that's cool. I don't mind, that's three out of 15. That's exactly what we're gonna need, so super cool. All right. So anyway, you can see how much money we got based off of popping the Wisp, all the experience points we're getting, and these are the levels of my yokai that we're able to knock that out. It's definitely helpful. Oh, dang, and we got a gold doll, heck yeah. Anyway. Definitely helpful to have a tank on your team, like Golden Yon, for example. So, all right. So now that we actually got a cone and some stuff, I'm going to actually save. So we're going to save the game. Okay, save the game, done. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, if we want to keep on going, you can easily come over here and then just like cross the um, cross the street incorrectly 10 more times, warp over to a new area, and then go from there. Now, let's take a look at Konsaru over here. This is the monkey that you're going to use in order to find out how to get the specific yokai. So, right over here for the Ogreless, you're going to need one gold cone, and we've explained in previous tutorial videos that you can actually bring up a board and, and fuse 15 uh, regular white ones into a gold one. So you just got to keep on grinding them. Uh, what else do we have over here? Snartle is one of them. Snartle is right here. Snartle also needs one gold cone. And then of course, Gargaros needs one gold cone as well. If you guys don't know how to use the cone fusion, it's very easy. Uh, you guys can take a look right over here. Now uh, that Snartle's on board, I've got eight of them. I got nine of these things, which is super fun. So what you have to do is you have to take the nine and then do the first option, and then you're going to fuse them together into red ones. So the nine, it's like a three for one ratio. So we're gonna do that, and then now we got three of the red ones. Whenever we have five of the red ones, you can do the exact same thing and turn it into a gold one. So Snartle's right over this way, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I probably only do two of them, because it's three for one like I talked to you guys about. And then I'm just gonna need to grind a couple more Snartle and a couple more Ogreless, and we should be able to have that. Uh, luckily for me, I got a gold cone drop on Gargaros, and now we are all set with Big Red Boy. So, whenever you have the requirements, you guys can see that here. Jump into that, 
and then you guys can see uh, what kind of level you want to uh, do. So I'm going to go with this guy over here. These are the different uh, attitudes that you can pretty much pay for. I'm going to do this one, although this one's kind of interesting, but yeah, this one we're going to do. So you're also going to need to spend about 7,000 yen, which is not that bad considering the fact that we got a golden doll drop. But yeah, it's here. That's our Gargaros. That's our big boy. Man, we could have had a really good one too. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy that during the tutorial we got a gold name drop. But anyway, as you guys can see over here, that's that's Akaoni. That's that's your boy. That's your boy Gargaros. And of course, um, all the rest of them. So let me sort by S ranks, and I'll show you guys. Uh, this is Snartle right over here. I do have one Snartle, uh, level eight, albeit that's okay. Pretty decent. Uh, good to see him. We've got uh, that's wobble walk. Here we go. We've got ourselves the brand new Gargaros at level 13. Whoa, he's gonna be uh, putting in some work right over here. And of course we have a level 50 Ogrela. So I've already got the Yokai in case I want some more, you can keep on farming them. And if you guys are in post game, who knows, maybe they have some end game specific equipment for those Yokai. But guys, that's gonna be it for a tutorial video. Uh, I left this uncut because I wanted to show you guys the process of what's involved with doing and getting each and every one of these three Yokai. They are very strong. They are going to help you out in post game and of course they're fun to farm for so anytime that you guys can get the oni it's going to be great as far as the other oni is, uh, are concerned uh orkanos and gilgaros these guys are going to be cranky kai exclusive wah, wah. no farming there so yeah you're going to need to farm in order to get these two and of course snartle so guys that's going to be it for our video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this uh let me know if you guys have any other tips and tricks available uh that you guys would like me to make some videos on i'm hard at work working on some post game quests for all of you guys to play along with and i hope you guys are really enjoying it so thanks for watching make sure you guys are entering our giveaway simply by clicking on that like button subscribing turning on notifications and of course dropping a comment you guys do that on every episode anyway right so we're giving away a nintendo switch and a couple copies of yokai watch 4 it's going to be a great one we'll see you on the next video take care